Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy Captain Cowboy here with King Swag doing Iron Throne Beginner's Guide Miniseries Part 12. So right now we're going to go ahead and talk about runes. We're going to talk about the different types of runes, how to go ahead and uh, equip runes, how to remove runes, how to preserve runes, how to destroy them, how to enhance them, how to fuse them, everything you need to know about runes. This is your ultimate guide to runes. So we're going to look here at our guard captain. You'll see we have orange runes, however they're all bright and flashy in gold. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what this means and uh, what it is. So we'll notice that there's different types of runes. So we'll start from the bottom here. We'll work our way up. So we have our very basic runes. This is just about right. Um, you know, and it's going to be at our lowest rarity. I don't even know what the rarity is called because I just don't deal with it. And then we go slightly higher. And as we go higher, it's going to slightly increase the stat percentage. And then we go to green. Green's going to be like our common. Then blue's going to be a rare. Uh, green's uncommon. Light gray is uh, common. Then we're going to have blue, which is our rare. It's going to be, you know, slightly increases in percentages as we go up. Then we're going to have purple, which is our epic, and then we're going to have immortal, which is going to be our orange. And then we get to the mighty runes, which cannot be enhanced. So these are great runes, but they cannot be enhanced. So you can think about it either way. Like Mighty runes have amazing stat, uh, percentages, base stat percentages, but if you can enhance your runes, your immortal runes, to high levels, you actually in not only increase the percentages that you are obtaining, um, that we can see here, but you're also obtaining additional um, percentages in different things. So like on this Battle Rune of Resistance, which gives us Archer Defense, at a plus 5 enhancement level, we're gaining an additional plus 3.75% health. Plus 10, we're getting that plus 7.5% Archer Attack. And at plus 15, we get a leveraged Archer Damage Increase. Now, each level it's going to be a slight increase in the percentage, the base percentage. But... It's a very high cost to do this with enhancing uh, runes. And enhancing runes are not cheap. So this is something we want to keep in mind. But we want to go ahead and put respective runes on our heroes. So like when we look at Guard Captain, you'll notice I have troop stats. And I also have siege stats. So I'm putting my best runes on my Guard Captain. This is my defense. This is where my all my marbles are at. This is where all my troops are. I need to keep them alive. I need to keep them safe. So I have troop health and I have troop defense. And I also have a siege health as well on my guard captain. If we look at my guard deputy now, we'll notice we have troop attack, we have what would be siege defense, and then we also have infantry health. So I am heavy infantry, so it's nice to have this little bit of infantry. However, siege it has leverage over everyone, and I have a whole bunch of siege that I use solely for defense. And then also the troop stats impacts all my troops, and all my troops will be home for defense. Now if we look at, like, let's say one of our attacking heroes, this is a perfect rune setup to show you. So this leveraged infantry damage increase rune cannot be enhanced. You know, if we look at it, well, here we see that we don't have any opportunities to go ahead and enhance this rune. And then we also again cannot go ahead and enhance a mighty rune of blades. So these are two runes that are set in place. They cannot be enhanced at all. And then finally we have the Battle Rune of Blades. So this is going to be an infantry attack and it is enhanced so it gives us a nice stat increase on the base stat as well as an additional stat. So this is nice because it shows us, hey, we have an immortal that cannot be enhanced. We have a mighty rune of blades that which is top of the line but cannot be enhanced. And then we have an enhanced um, bat battle rune for a very specific um, rune that we want to utilize. So this is the perfect thing that we want to show. Now let's go ahead and show you a mechanic for going ahead and fusing runes together. What is fusing runes together? What does this mean? And what do you get out of it? So I want to lead this off by stating that there is absolutely 0% chance of knowing what you're going to get out of this. You can go up, you can go down. Um, I can have all six being battle and I could get a dimensional, I could get an economy. So it really doesn't matter, but they all have to be of the same type. Of the, I'm sorry, same rarity. So we're going to take some of this most basic, and we went up. And we got 
We got a troop stronghold attack, so that's pretty sweet. But all we're going to do is we're just going to continue going down the line. And I'm just going to enhance these runes to the point where I think I'm no longer going to utilize them. So what I mean by this is, let's say I will only utilize runes that are purple or better. So I'll take all my blues, all, all my runes that lead up to blue, and I'll go ahead and I'll utilize this as the fodder to go ahead and try to get a new rune. So let's go ahead and uh, fuse these together. And see, like, I had all economy and all dimensional, and I ended up getting a battle rune. So it's like, you can't really understand what you're going to get. I could have all being infantry, and I could get something for economy. So this is just a way to try to get something better than what you currently have, um, at, as in, like, a higher rarity. But sometimes you can actually go down in rarity, which is surprising at best, but... That's just the way that this is. So we could go ahead. Let's just try out group fuse. I've never used this before. Um, let's just, yeah, we'll fuse all of them up together, and this is what we got. We got a whole bunch of epics. We got a whole bunch of uncommons, and we also got a couple of common runes. So we got a whole bunch of attack, we got a whole bunch of economy, we got a whole bunch of dimensional, like it's all over the place. That was 700 runes or so that we were enhancing all together. So like, that was pretty insane, if you ask me. Heck yeah. So now we can go ahead and let's take all of these rare ones. Let's try to fuse them all together and see what we get. So we get a couple more at epic. Not a whole lot. Not a big deal. Now we can we could go to Re uh, Epic and try to get them at Immortal. I don't really think it's worth it at this point. I might try to get rid of the, some of the ones that I know I would never use. And try to, you know, hope that maybe I could get an Immortal piece of a rune that I would utilize. And just utilize them. I, I don't even know how I would utilize them at that point. I already have all the, rune the runes put in place that I would need. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is runes. You can obtain them for free. Um, just takes, you know, some grinding out. You could also get them in packs, especially with the gold rush. Last week you could get, like, ten mighty rune chests, um, for completing the gold rush event. I don't believe they have any for this week, but we'll go ahead and check while we are here together right now. We do get those battle runes to go ahead and enhance runes, but we do not get anything for, or, uh, just outright new runes. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for uh, watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more, want to get into the playtest, go ahead and uh, message me in a one-to-one. -one. All the different ways to contact me are below. Get you into the playtest for Iron Throne. And also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. This is Cam Cowboy and your boy Swag.